There's a lot you can do with geometry nodes, but one of the best uses for it in production is piecing together modular assets to make complex and adjustable models. I'm Jonathan Lampel, and in this course from cgcookie.com, we're going to dive into Blender's geometry node system. We'll start by covering the basics of creating and adjusting geometry in general, practice creating a few basic effects to get comfortable with geo nodes, and then we'll create this Ferris wheel and this roller coaster, which both have adjustable parameters and can be customized however you'd like. Along the way, we'll build some handy node groups that you can save as assets so you can get a head start on future projects. I'll also just include all of those in the downloads. It's an intermediate course that expects you to have some familiarity with Blender and shading nodes, and if you don't, you can always check out our basics and fundamentals courses, which will more than prepare you for something like this. It's entirely about geometry nodes and not traditional modeling or texturing, so you'll start out with a set of modular assets that I made specifically for this course. You might be wondering why we're not generating all of these assets from scratch with geometry nodes, because it's a geometry nodes course, but without a bevel, fill, or some of the other essential operations available in geometry nodes, a lot of these just aren't possible yet, or at the very least, just not practical. And in general, it's extremely inefficient to model static assets with nodes. So what I do instead is model all of the pieces that don't need to be individually adjustable, or are just static, and combine them along with a few pieces that are generated to, well, assemble a model that is adjustable. Not only does that save us both several hours of time, it's also wildly more performant and runs at a much higher FPS, plus we get a better looking result faster. So that's really the only way I would actually recommend working, and so that's what we'll do in the course. Now, even though I've been using Blender for about a decade, and I'm very comfortable with modeling with modifiers and with using shading nodes, it did take me a little bit of time to get comfortable with geometry nodes because it does require a bit of a different way of thinking. While I was figuring things out though, anytime I had a flash of inspiration and things suddenly clicked in my brain, I wrote down the ideas and the examples that got me there. And this course is just as much a collection of all of those notes, so hopefully it can click for you even faster. Trust me, you don't have to be an expert modeler or know a lot about math in order to make some really awesome things with geometry nodes. And I want to show you that. But I will warn you, though, that this course is a little more nerdy than usual. If you've been seeing all of the cool things that can be done with geometry nodes, but you haven't tried them yourself yet, or you want to use them more efficiently, or you want to see how they're used in a complete workflow, then this is exactly the course for you. It's available now for members on cgcookie.com and it'll also be available next week on the Blender Market. As always, you can ask questions below each lesson on the site or on our Discord. I hope you're as excited about Geometry Nodes as I am, and I hope to see you there.